COVID-19 gave birth to new normal conditions upon an increase in demands of hygiene products like antimicrobial facial tissue paper, which I myself am quite a prolific user of. This made me wonder what makes an antimicrobial facial tissue paper what it is. I then learned that commercial antimicrobial facial tissue paper is not biocompatible at all. That gave me the idea of fabricating an antimicrobial facial tissue paper. Hence, my research is entitled Bio-Based Raw Materials, Potential Components of New Normal Antimicrobial Facial Tissue Paper. My name is Cheryl figueres Suchana from SMA Digital Hatikulation School West. First, we have the objectives of the research. To utilize bio-based raw additives in producing antimicrobial facial tissue paper, characterizing the tissue paper made, and determining which proportion shows the most efficient antimicrobial activities. Next, we have the Research questions. 1. How does the proportion of the bio-based ingredients affect bacteria inhibition? 2. How would the characteristics of the fabricated antimicrobial facial tissue paper differ according to varying proportions? And 3. Is there a significant difference among the fabricated antimicrobial facial tissue paper? Next, we have the literature review. As previously mentioned, commercial antimicrobial facial tissue paper is environmentally hazardous, mainly due to their uses of synthetic chemicals as additives, which are listed in the slideshow. Crafted Dosan is a biodegradable and biocompatible substance which is effective against many different microorganisms, where a Jitosan mixture of 1% Jitosan solution and 2% acetic acid possesses broad antimicrobial activities. Garlic oil, similar to Jitosan, is environmentally friendly and is effective against many pathogens. Garlic oil is said to get its antimicrobial activities from sulfides and allicin. Here are the overall steps of the research. First, the ingredients are prepared and cast into films, then the films undergo testing which comprises of antimicrobial and mechanical property testing and water uptake and degradation ability tests. Next, the results are gathered and further observed and the last step is conclusion making. The variables in this research involves independent variables, dependent variables, and controlled variables as displayed in the slideshow. For solution casting, the first step is dissolving white paper deionized water. After that, the mixture is blended and kept in an airtight container and the cellulosic pulp is then coated on a glass silicon mold for 24 hours and peeled off. Here are the six compositions to be created, one of which being the controlled amount. Antimicrobial activity test. This test to be conducted in this section is the inhibition zone test, which will be done three times per mixture with the bacteria S. aureus, which can be found on human hands. First, the strain of bacteria is diluted, put in a plate of agar and incubated. Next, the bacteria is cultivated in nutrient broth for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. The antimicrobial tissue film is then cut into discs of diameters 4 millimeters and sterilized for 30 minutes. After that, the film is put into the agar plate and incubated for 24 hours. Finally, the inhibition zone is measured and recorded. Next, we have mechanical property testing. The thickness will be measured with a paper thickness gauge, while the length and width are to be measured with a linear caliper. Degradation activity. For this test, the film will be weighed and put into soil for up to a week. Then the film will be reweighed and further visually inspected. After that, we have water uptake. This test is similar to that of degradation activities, but it will be put into a beaker with 50 millimeters of water for 15 minutes and reweighed instead. The formula is as shown. Keep in mind that all these tests will be done three times and the value in the tables will be the mean results. For the statistical analysis, I will be using the one way analysis of variance with the Excel stats software to determine the significance of the values differences. This test will be used because of the six different mixtures present. In conclusion, garlic oil and jitosan both have broad antimicrobial activities, are environmentally friendly, and non toxic substances and so it is expected for the research to result in a successful fabrication of the antimicrobial facial tissue paper where it will be shown by the favorable outcome of the antimicrobial mechanical and absorbent properties alongside its biodegradation activities. The new normal demands evaluation and a novel solution. Thank you.